Hello and welcome back to another video and in this one we've got this uh, George W. Bush uh, Collector's Edition animated figure. Uh, it's the Pop Culture series and it's released or uh, well, manufactured by uh, um, a company called Jemmy. So Jemmy Pop Culture series. They do a variety of different figures. So this one will be around the early 2000s. There's no date on the box but that would tie in with George Bush uh, you know, being the president. and. Also, this thing is also really only retails in America, and as you can see on the side, it says all Americans have the right to choose between uh, my funny and inspirational sayings. Pose, you can pose my arms, but that doesn't make me a puppet. So basically, you push these two buttons here, and his head moves and his mouth moves. Um, now, the backstory behind this is my best mate and his partner were out with their little girl. She saw one of these in a, in a UK pub, and kind of, for whatever reason, you know what kids are like, just fell in love with it. Uh, he decided to try and find one, and obviously found that a lot of them were, were in America. Uh, he got hold of one that was sold as working, but the uh, mouth doesn't move. I had a quick look at it when I visited the other week, and it looked like it was going to be really hard to open, so I didn't want to damage his. Um, whilst it at least uh, like said the things and moved its head. And so I went onto eBay and found another one. I got quite lucky, there just happened to be another one online and decided what I would do is see if I could get this one working. So this one, the mouth doesn't move and the head doesn't move. And if I can get this one working, then potentially I can get his working as well. So I haven't even taken this one out of the box yet. So um, we'll have a quick look inside. Oh, is there a date on there? So it looks like it also takes, so instructions is gonna take uh, it's going to take uh, three AA batteries, but it also appears to take um, uh, a DC input somewhere as well. Um, so let's take George out and have a look at him. He's really quite large, so to give you an idea, so it's going to be quite tricky to video. I'm trying to show you both my bench and him as well whilst I do the repair. Maybe that's a little better. Um, so yeah, uh, size-wise, you're talking about 33 centimeters in height, so it's really quite tall. Uh, the finish is actually quite quite good. So you've got a, a plasticky base, and there's our uh, DC input and our speaker, the funny and inspirational quotes. But the material's good here. That actually feels cotton-like uh, for jeans, more rubbery for his coat. The detailing isn't isn't too bad at all. Um, so I'd say, yeah, it's actually, it's quite a, quite a nice thing. It says you can pose the arms. Um, yeah, potentially. I mean, it doesn't seem as easy to pose them as they make out on the, the box. He's got his hand up. I think you really, you can just kind of rotate them a little bit. Um, underneath, so this is where our power is going to go for the batteries and our DC power supply. So I think the first thing we should do is just pop some batteries in and see what happens, which is probably going to be some of the quotes, but nothing else will happen. But we'll try that first. So having a look inside, so we've got some corrosion in here. So someone's obviously let the, left the batteries in at some point, so we can see corrosion on there and there. So what I'll do is I'll try on batteries first and see what happens. But then before I get on with cleaning that out, if it's only mild enough, so what I'll also do is test it on DC and see if there's any difference, try and bypass those contacts. So that's all of those in. Is there an on off? Did, did, was, there, was there an on off underneath? A strong America is America based upon strong families. So that was an inspirational quote. I know how hard it is to put food on your family. So that's inspirational and funny. Uh, so let, And we saw nothing was moving. So let's just try it on. DC, so it looks like a fairly standard size socket, and we're looking for positive on the inner core. It probably won't make any difference, but sometimes it's always worth checking an alternative power supply as part of your um, uh, initial diagnosis. Pop our power in and see what we get. A strong America is America based upon strong families. Free people will set the course of history. I know how hard it is to put food on your family. Right, so I'm not, so obviously that's made no difference. I'm just having a little listen now because obviously we're expecting this to be motorised. I have made good judgments in the past. I have made good judgments in the future. These acts were intended to frighten us, 
they have failed, I can shake the foundations of our biggest buildings, but cannot touch the foundation of America. So when I hold that to my ear, I can hear the faintest of little buzzings, uh, like a motor that comes in just every now and then. Not, nothing, nothing particularly loud and nothing particularly continuous. But um, it could be, so I don't think it's a loose wire. So sometimes it can be a wire that's going up to the motor. I can hear a bit of a buzzing. So it's probably going to be a cog that's either separated or, or maybe become damaged. So we're about at the same stage as my uh, my mates. And, but the problem was, obviously I didn't want to start taking things apart on his too, too hard. Um, and I, what I, but when I had an, just a very quick look at his, it didn't look like there was a particularly easy way to get inside the figure. So I'm just going to double check that here. All I initially saw with, with this was there's a staple there and there and there. So potentially we have to take the staples out and take his head off. We've also got these here to take the base off. So I'm just going to see if we can slide his coat off at all and see if, see what we can find. I mean, it, the coat you'd expect to come off. Can't be that snug a fit, right? Yeah, there we go. Well, it is pretty snug. And then just having a gentle feel around. And I can't see or feel this is this was my concern that they're kind of, it's kind of all sewn on. Like these aren't buttons you can really undo by the look of it. They're just aesthetics. I can't feel any anything in there. So I think this is kind of a solid molding all around here. We'll have a, we'll take the base off and just have a little look under that. Okay, so this is obviously the wiring coming out there. Again, there's a little bit of corrosion you can see he's got onto the uh, the con connections which I will be tidying up. But then what we can see is his feet are there and the wires are just going straight up. So uh, again, there's corrosion on there as well. So there's corrosion on in where the DC comes in. But we know we're getting we know we're getting enough in the speakers working so yeah sometimes before you start going mental and breaking everything down it could just be that you've got a certain wire that feeds a motor which is which um, has become damaged so um it's really worth people always like rush into these repairs when actually it could be something lower down so we know that corrosion is not too bad we know that's coming over there to feed into this circuit board i'm definitely going to clean up the corrosion on there see there we go that's just that corrosion's just made this drop off hardly touched it because it's it's come away there um not too much of an issue because i can just um i'll just yeah look at that it's literally just falling falling off but it's okay because we should be able to as long as i know where that red one goes should just be able to bypass this Use, bypass it using this. A strong yeah. America is America. Thanks, George. So that's fine. We can. I might even just take the offer ease later on. So I can take. So this will. Why don't we see? I mean, taking the legs off isn't going to do much. All it's going to do is show us um, a. By the look of it, um, some wires heading up there. That black and the red one. They're going to go into the board, black and red. Yeah, because I presume your button is just going to trigger the circuit board and then the circuit board is going to trigger that. So what we really do need to have a look at is the um, the mechanism. So it's, it's, the only, like I said, I can't feel any way to get inside him. It just all looks like that. I'm not even sure if undoing his feet Will allow him to separate so look he is he's molded there half and half but i don't see a screw that would keep him together so i've got the choice i either have to kind of commit and 
rip his or cut his uh, clothing open to find something or I just go straight for these up at the top and I think what I'm going to do is go for these uh, these staples up at the top and so for that I'm just going to use uh, something like this because the only because the other thing is that may just be I suspect that will be attached to the plastic ring and I think once we get his head off it will give us a better idea of what's going on unfortunately what that's going to mean is there's going to be some marks around these these sta these staples one coming out relatively easy which makes me think I should be able to just bang them in so that's there's three one in the back of his neck as well uh, sorry, none of that was on camera. So yeah, I've got one out of there, one out of there. I've got this one in the back of his neck. Got some kind of microchip in the X-Files. Okay, could have gone flying, I got lucky. Right, so that's all three of those off. Let's see if we can now detach his head at all. That base is really annoying me. I'm just going to get rid of it. So I'm going to mark up which one was red. This one. It's already got the positive there, actually. Positive, negative. I'm just going to very quickly just heat up the soldering iron and whip that off because it's annoying me. Right, good. That's out of the way now. Uh, right, so that's the th those three taken out, and we can see some. But his head is co is coming. How do we get his mouth out of the head, though? That looks tricky. Because his chin, his mouth goes into it now without the. Without that in there, it will come off. I want to, I want to think that you could just pull the the mouth out, but I don't think you can. So the head, so there's something down there that attaches to his head. Now, I guess one question is, why is his head not turning when there's when the uh, when this uh, does it? Does is that indicating something again? Is that, is that indicating something down here that's? Not working. Oh, did, I, did I rush too soon? I know how hard it is to put food on your family. A strong America is America based upon strong families. Here, yeah, something is trying to do something. Right, there's got to be a way to get that head, that, that bit of mouth out. But how? How was that put on? If I can get that bar out of there, then I'd be able to... Whatever this thing, this spring-loaded thing, if I could get the bar out of it, then I can lift the head out. Because right now... I'm not sure I can, like... And I just force it over the top, really. Let's see if I can get this bar out very carefully. So what we're going to do with that is a couple of pairs of tweezers. Something like... I need to push one way and pull the other way, really.
Uh, so that doesn't want to shift out of his mouth. That's, I really want to get that out so I can get to the mechanism. But the problem is I've got to pull this out without damaging that uh, plastic block on the inside. So how, how else could we do this? That moves up and down, it moves up. Not enough clearance for me to get his head out. Is there anything I can do whilst I'm in? Can I see anything whilst I'm in here? Free people will set the course of history. These acts were intended to frighten us, but they have failed. Acts can shake the foundations of our biggest buildings. I cannot touch the foundation of America. So I can. I have made good judgments in the past. I have made good judgments in the future. Something's trying to move in there. It's like a plastic cog is broken. I really need to get inside his head though to deal with that. Now, I literally, the only, there's also something that's kind of cracked in there. So what can I do? There is, there's two more screws, but I don't know what benefit that would give me because they are, if I undo them, I, I might really screw myself over. But what I'm going to try and do is move his mouth up, give me access to those screws there, because I can't, I can't see anything else right now. A rebuilding it could be a real nightmare if I've got to put this back in and those screws, but I can't see much more of an option right now. I'm going to have to, going to, have to give it a go. So a small screwdriver. And hopefully those small screws will just release this mouthpiece, I guess. Okay, so that's not really, that hasn't really achieved anything, so at least it hasn't made things worse. Uh, it's got, I've got to get that off. It's got, it's got to be the only way. That's got to be a push fit in there. I don't think that metal, that, that bar would be moulded in. So I've, I've got to try and get that out of his mouth, I'm sure. Um, but the problem is pulling it out of a plastic, piece of plastic without damaging the plastic housing. I guess worst case scenario, I can always glue it back in. Like, do you? Really like force it over the top. Oh god, I'm not liking this. When it's so close at the back, it's like you could almost feed his head over. But not quite because because of that at the front. I think at this stage we're going to have to just go for a little bit of brute force over the top. I can't. There's something loose in there. Once we get his head off, we'll find out what it is. Lever him out. Lever his head out. So there's a resistor or something up there that was attached. Okay, it goes even higher. It goes right up into his head. Crikey, it goes all the way up. So now I'm fighting this bit at the front and that bit at the top. Flipping it. Oh, there we go. Right. Still can't get that bit out. Right, there we go. Right, there's, 
There's George Bush. He, he, he always was a, a robot, apparently. Uh, so this section here. So what? I, hopefully, what I can do, if I can get it working, is um, actually take this off. Has someone tried to fix this in the past? I'm not entirely sure. It's all very glued. This bit was already broken. So what we had earlier was. So this was the bit that I said was already cracked. So you can see there's this cot, there's this little plastic uh, piece here. It's got a crack through it. You can't really see. Trust me, there's a crack through there. So uh, what I need to do is I'll resolder this back onto here, and then we'll see if this is turning. But it, what it's not, what that won't help us with is why this isn't moving either. Um, so we'll have to check that mechanism out. But let's see. So what, how was it built? We had this string thing was supposed to be, I think attached to this. So that was, that was on there. And then if you remember, we took that thing off, which was like this. So that's going to be, Kind of the spring should be a lot shorter i've stretched it pulling it out so the spring should be in there and then something's gonna spring pushes it down and then yes yeah, so that was like that and then the spring pushes it down and then something has to pull it up so i'm guessing what would push that upwards so there's a motor so either the motor pushes it up, either the spring pulls it up and that pushes it down or vice versa. So some form of mechanism there. So let's just see, let's just reattach um, this item. Solder, just put this on for now. I'll tidy it up later on if need be. A strong America is America based upon strong families. So what we're guessing at the minute is this is turning. I know how hard it is. See so this spinning. On your family. So that spinning is supposed to do something on this mechanism. So it's it's I, I, I would suspect that this string, his mouth's gonna default. Where do we think his mouth would default to? Open. So his mouth would default open with the spring. And then like if it was on there and then it kind of like wound wound itself tight and then and then unwound itself okay so but is that going to move his head it, it wouldn't move his head so again inside we've got screws from the inside here so how do but like how would i undo the screws on the inside like how someone attached those I need to find, I don't know how I'm going to find out what's inside there because how do I, how do I undo his, um, how do I undo his neck from this side? Do I have to put like a screwdriver all the way into his neck? Hmm, might be worth us just having a ponder on this mechanism first. It's an awfully long string if it was just designed to be, pin, be pinned in place. Um, now we've got my tweezers. Mm. Unless it defaults closed and then as it turns, it's shortening the string. Obviously that collar needs fixing. I'm just wondering if this is just supposed to be wedged in the back or whether it's actually supposed to be attached to it. I'm suspecting just this collar would just wedge that piece of string into the back. If this was small, if I, if I hadn't stretched that on the way out and that was short, would my motor then be able to pull it down? So I mean, that, but the spring would have to be absolutely tiny. The spring would have to be there. Try this. These acts were intended to frighten us, but they have failed. Acts can shake the foundations of oh, our we're getting somewhere, aren't we? Touch the foundation of America. So those of us 
who love freedom must work together to do everything we can to disrupt, deny, and bring to justice these people who have no soul, no conscience, people that hate freedom. Right, so we're getting somewhere. If this spring was a lot smaller, so it was all the way retracted, and then this then will then pull it down. So if we're like this. We cannot let terrorists and rogue nations hold this nation hostile or hold our allies hostile. Yeah, so I think that's what I've really stretched the, str the uh, spring out, taking it off. So I'm going to need to shorten that spring. And then I'm also going to need to attach the string onto the cog somehow and repair the cog so that it um, stays attached to the motor and, and spins that. So that's that's where we'll go with, with that. But in the meantime, we also need to work out why his head is not moving like this. And for that, it's quite tricky because the um the screws are on the inside so it looks like we are gonna have to have a little look under his legs and see if i can maybe get a, a screwdriver up there uh, so let's do that i might have to just take his clothes off as well just to see if there is any access so we've got to go deeper and deeper uh, Okay. I hate it when we, we have to go down the rabbit hole. We're gonna have to see if we can actually take him off his plinth. Oh. Oh, God. Right, so there we go, yeah. So again, you've just got, he's on a stand with those going up, which is not particularly helpful. I wonder, has is, is all of that just been molded inside? How am I supposed to get in? I'm, I might just have to bite the bullet and see if maybe there's anywhere else. So how am I supposed? How would they have screwed the top on? No, right. So we know the at this stage we've got a rough idea of what to do with the top. That's shorten the spring mechanism, fix this and attach the string on somehow in a, in a way that the mouth moves we now also know that the there is a motor whirring inside there but nothing is happening so something is disconnected between the head and that spinning motor the problem is everything seems completely sealed up so what i'm going to have to do is i can't because i can't unscrew these screws from the from this side I, mean, I don't think so anyway I mean and then how would I put them back on again I'm going to I think go a bit more uh, destructive and maybe somewhere where you can't see it like inside here I'm gonna have to try and remove his clothing and uh, maybe make a an insert somewhere I don't I don't really want to do it on the front on these buttons because they're fake buttons anyway but I'm thinking if I just put a, a slit here Maybe I can get his clothes off and then uh, and then re put re put this over the top. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have to commit. Mm, so where do I want? How do I want to get this? All of this off. Really, those trousers are well, how are they connected? So they're kind of just glued on. Right, ah, uh, here we go. We found screws. So would that have helped at all with his head? So I don't think it would have. Um, so God, that looks ridiculous, doesn't it? <laughs> so we're still gonna be opening him up. So I still need to have his Yeah, he's going to come apart left and right. So if I take the legs off again, the trousers can slide beneath the feet, I hope. 
and then it'll open up but maybe i don't need to open it up fully maybe i just need to get um just slide it half open so uh, that resist that's come off again so we have to redo that again at some point uh so let's go with it's gonna be half if i'm gonna have to I'm going to have to cut your shirt off. I don't really want to do that. To access inside there. To access those screws. How? Yeah, we're going to have to do it, aren't we? We're going to have to find some way to take your shirt off. And I think that's going to be more destructive. that yeah so there's there's one of the buttons there are more there are even more screws up here so that was the right call so if i can get his shirt off now or at least that far so you've got more of those pins for the arms we've got four sets of screws so let's try and just do it from there right. that's those screws done now the body will come away and the arms uh, right yeah so I'm gonna have to get his bloody legs off yeah I'm gonna have to take his legs off because the mechanism is I can't quite get to it like this look it's there all oh, right so they oh, there we go right so those these stumps come out of the boots. Right, so bloody hell, we're all the way we're all the way down to here now, um, and then that now lets us into the mechanism. So I need to get my finger just on there or something on there, and then because the motor's turning, but this that isn't moving as we'd expect. And that's been that should be driven by this. So when we when the power is going in, it's going to use something like this to feel the motor. A strong America is America based upon strong families. Right. So I can feel that moving, but it's not turning this. So something within this housing is broken. So we're going to have to have a look inside there now. So that is going to be let's have a quick clear of the decks. Oh, so yeah, the motor housing's going to have to come out as well now. Because I can't get to those ones at the back, so I'm going to have to take these off. And then this is where I start forgetting where certain screws went. I want to go, when I put them back together, there'll be one screw left over. I'm sure of it, but when you're recording, it's not like you can... It's, usually I take photographs as I, as I undo things to remind me where things go. But when I'm recording, I... I I don't have the chance to do that. I've lost, I've lost the speaker. Maybe I'm short. Maybe I'm shorting something down in here. That would be annoying. If we did all this work and then I lost the sound, I'd be pretty annoyed. Oh well, that's what you get with this keep going right let's see if we can get inside right so there's our culprit typical it's a it's a broken cog inside there so um right so what you've got is inside there there is a cog here which should be turning and you can see it's uh, split right down the middle now cogs are a nightmare to replace uh, i don't have anything this size at the minute so it's, it's that cog it's loads of like grease or lubrication in, in here which isn't anywhere else it's probably supposed to be there um, there's not much I can really I can really do 
I will try super gluing it, but it's as soon as you're just a fraction of a degree out on this kind of thing, um, you're, you're kind of screwed. So anyway, what I'll do is I'll, I'll try and, can't see that, I'll try and clean it up and I'll try and glue it back together and we'll see if, we'll see if we can uh, get it to hold. So what I'm going to try and do is just put a little dab of uh, super glue on the insides like I normally would and just kind of hold it in place. And then I'm going to use this like the bicarbonate soda trick just around like over the tops of here and over the tops here because there's enough that I think I might be able to get a bit more grab within the, within within the rings. So we'll, we'll give it a go because what have we got to lose? I don't I don't have one of those uh, cogs. I don't think not of that size. And what I'm going to do is just kind of scoop a little bit onto where I want it and then put some drops of uh, so you can see that's the super glue setting into the bicarbonate of soda like it almost makes like a miniature plastic all right so we'll show we have a look see if that's done anything so this is the uh, finished result I want to easily go down which is a good sign one of the annoying things it's quite hard to push down onto it because there's these electrical elements that are getting in the way so I'm having to like, kind of hold it with my finger he, want, he wants to do something uh, so even worse the smallest cog right down in there is also broken so we're gonna have to do that one as well this is really this is I mean this is a huge job so far um, so there's a tiny, there's a tiny little cog right in the bottom of the motor that's supposed to turn all of them. That one's broken as well. So more of the same. We're going to have to go even deeper, all the way down to this. Right. So we've had to go all the way down to this cog on the motor, and I definitely saw a split in it. Yeah, there. Anyway, there's a split in this cog, but I might actually have a spare for that size. So I'll have a, I will grab out the little box of uh, cogs. Probably twice the height, which is annoying. But you see, there's what I don't know why it's not there. So I've got a spare, um, spare bag of them. But annoyingly, it's sitting in a housing, and it might actually be too tall. It sat inside this horrible greasy housing. It was, uh, how was it? Sat inside that mouth, but hopefully it will still fit. We'll find out now. I'm gonna give this a quick wipe. It's getting all over me. And I'm praying that when this now goes back on, we can still see it. We can, and I'm hoping the clearance is okay. Right, so that's good. I've got I've got good clearance inside there now, which is great. So now let's rebuild. There we go. Right, that's much better. So four screws. Right, which which four screws came out of there? Right, so that's our that's our head moving. So let's get the body back together. So that's all working now. So now at this point, uh, and whilst I was in there, I kind of just run a little bit of silicon grease just around the inside, just to help the uh, the head move. So now we are up to the stage where I'm still really concerned this is all just going to be a waste of time because I've lost the, the sound. But worst case scenario, because my friends doesn't work, I can always just swap the figure um, onto the different base. So what I'm going to do right now is just pop the clothes back on. Got to replace uh, some buttons and stuff later on. But let's just put the clothes like this for now. At least that way it's partially dressed and then that's just going to need 
a little bit of glue there and then just retouch the button so that's not too bad um, and now we've got to have a look at the uh, the mouth and then finally the sound which I think is probably my fault just kind of short circuiting by having this flopping around at the bottom but it is what it is now I think I'm all on the right tracks. This is where I'm, I'm now like committing again by doing something because I think that should be really coiled up, but it's been stretched. So the only way I can kind of get that back is by removing a lot of the spring and then relying on that section. So I'm going to just heat up this section here. Take the spring out. I'm thinking something like that. That's looking okay, right? So now what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of hot glue on the top. Only one of these that I have on here, or maybe we just wedge it in first and just see if it works. It's fighting me, so I must be getting close. All right. So something like that. Let's see what happens now. Yeah, is that set yet? Yeah, let's see what happens now. So that's looking good. You can generally tell when you're getting close because it starts fighting back. Right, let's try and get this head back on. Essentially using brute force. There's barely any room to get in. So this is the future me and unfortunately this is as far as I got with the repair. Um, so having done all that work and got all the way down to the cog inside the motor in the middle, having finally figured out how to uh, get the mouth moving again, I came across the same problems when I was rebuilding the model as I did when I took it apart and that was mainly that once the head was on it was impossible to get the that protruding metal bar through the mouth. Um, and so eventually it, it kind of twisted and, and broke. I uh, I did reattach it, um, but um, ultimately I just kept coming up with the same problem. I, I couldn't get it through the mouth. So eventually what I, what I did do was I cut out the bar because uh, it was stuck in there. Uh, and um, finally when the head was on, I put the bar back through the mouth and attached it. So this isn't... I think they're probably stuck in on all the models. And you, you, you saw me at the start of the video trying to... Uh, pull it out it, it just doesn't come out you have to literally cut the thing out um, so anyway I put it back in I had um, the uh, the head turning the mouth moving kind of adjusted it all that was all fine I thought yeah we'll end the video on, a, on, on at least a partial high showing that um, but then it just um, it, it just wasn't working properly at the end. It, it was very intermittent. And because I couldn't get the sound working in, uh, I, I kind of just called it a day there. I'd already spent what you're seeing there is around seven hours spent on this thing. And bearing in mind that was just a favour for a friend to try and get his to open and close its mouth. So um, I was so frustrated. I just thought... Uh, uh, I'm not going to even upload the video, but I decided I would. I'd edit the video and put it up, and uh, 
if anything, if it stops anyone else ever trying to fix one of these, then then I've then I've done my good deed for the day. Uh, but anyway, if, if you enjoyed the video, uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, it'll it'll really help me out, especially after that one. Uh, and until the next one, all the best. Take care and see ya.